video all about how to stay motivated. I know that I have been so stressed with school and just maintaining a social life and trying to just not be bombarded with stress and a lot of anxiety and things like that. So I'm gonna be showing you guys my tips on how I stay motivated and I hope that they can help you. Also, hi, I'm Cicely. If you're new here, you should click the subscribe button so you guys will be notified every time that I upload. First tip is to take a mental health day if you need it. Seriously, I cannot stress enough how important it is to take a break. You cannot keep going at full speed on and on and on and expect yourself to come out with the best possible like attitude, the best possible work if you're working on something for school or even just for work and like something that is going on with your friends, you know, you'll be drained and you can easily get angry or annoyed. So definitely take a mental health day if you need it because seriously, it's it does wonders. it's not the end of the world sometimes I find myself like going out with my friends too much or like invite me to go bowling or go to a movie and I'm like yeah sure and then I end up spending so much money and I don't get anything done because I'm not in the house I'm not getting my homework done I'm not getting my YouTube videos done I am literally the worst when it comes to peer pressure I don't even like it's not even peer pressure but if my friends are like hey you want to go out to eat I'm like yeah sure like no convincing needed so it's important to remember that you can skip that party you can skip going out one time yeah you might have a little bit of FOMO but in the long run it really could help you with the stress and not having to you know hurry up and get something done because you wasted any time tip is to try to go to sleep early on the nights that you're staying home. I know this can be really difficult because I always am up at like 3 in the morning watching Netflix or YouTube videos by myself in my bedroom, but I cannot stress to you the importance of getting sleep when you're trying to de-stress or just be relaxed and have a good life. I can't stress how important it is getting enough sleep, not only for your outward appearance, but also your mental health. quiz is not the end of the world it is okay things happen life happens you fail it I don't know it's inevitable but don't let it consume you and don't let it make you have a bad day or a bad week or even just a bad semester in school if you get a bad grade screw it who cares just study really hard the next time and try your best my fifth tip is to just breathe just remember to stop and breathe and give yourself a little bit of room to just take a deep breath in take a deep breath out just relax don't stress yourself out too much don't wake yourself out too much because I promise you most of the time you don't need to be stressing like that my sixth tip is to just get away if you need to just get out of your apartment or get out of your room or your house or wherever you're living to do work honestly I get so much more work done when I'm at Starbucks or somewhere else than when I'm in my own apartment and it just feels good to get out, get a little bit of fresh air, go somewhere new with new scenery and not be stuck in your house or your room all day. Or if you're not working and you really just need to get away and relax, take a beach day. Take a, again, kind of like a mental health day. Go to the mall, go shopping, go see a movie, do something that you've been wanting to do that you've been putting off because you've been so busy. Organized. When you're organized, your life just feels together, let me tell you. If you guys would like to see a video on how I stay organized, let me know down below. I can totally do one for you. So my 
the eighth tip is a little bit opposite from one of the other tips, but it's to know that sometimes you're gonna have to sacrifice sleep if you're trying to manage a social life and school and work. It honestly, like, that's just what it is. There's only 24 hours in the day. You can't do everything, and while we all wish we could, remember that if you really are trying to, like, go to work and then do some homework and then you want to go out with your friends that you're probably not going to be sleeping that much, which sucks. So like I said, on the days that you're home alone and just chilling, try to get as much sleep as possible because you never know when you're going to be sacrificing your sleep. My ninth tip is to cry. Don't hold it all in. If you're really that stressed out or freaking out about something, cry. Let it all out and it honestly feels so freeing and so nice. You don't have to cry in front of anyone. You can do it in your room by yourself. But seriously, sometimes it just feels great to cry it out. And my 10th tip is to scream if you need to. Again, going hand to hand with crying. If you just feel like you need to scream, scream into a pillow, scream outside, scream to the heavens. I don't know. Sometimes just releasing that tension and that anger built up in your body really helps you relax and just Oh, I don't know. It's like a weight is lifted off your shoulders. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Again, if you're new here, hi, I'm Cicely. You should go ahead and click that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any of my videos. That way you'll be notified every time that I upload. But again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. Thank you for 73,000 subscribers. Again, you guys are amazing and welcome all of the new subscribers to the fam. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you all. Bye.